Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we'll be talking about Urban Meyer being hired as the new head coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, this is a very interesting hire in my opinion because now, you know, you're already seeing the media members saying, oh, you know, his connections to Ohio State, does that mean he might pass in Trevor Lawrence and draft Justin Fields instead because he, you know, the Ohio State connection? No. No. Just stop. Just stop the cap. Just stop it all. Trevor Lawrence is going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. That was definitely part of the agreements when they signed Urban Meyer was saying, hey, this is the future quarterback. Are you okay with him us drafting him? He's going to be the franchise player. He obviously signed off on it. There's no way they would sign him, knowing that he would want to change who the number one overall pick was going to be. Media need to stop. Now, let's talk about the actual hire of Urban Meyer. I'm actually really excited. I'm not going to lie. Urban Meyer, you know, has been out of football for a couple of years. The only thing that I worry about is he stopped coaching because of his health because he couldn't handle stress well. You know, he would hold his head a lot on the sidelines because of the tumor. You know, this is a very stressful job in the NFL. The NFL is a very stressful job, especially as a head coach. So I'm, I am worried about his health. But again, you know, the only way he would, you know, petri- you know, put himself in jeopardy if he was not healthy enough to be a head coach in the NFL. The paying him, I believe, was 12 mil a year was the report, 13, something like that. But, you know, to get Urban Meyer, because he was also interviewing with the Chargers, they got to pay the price. Um... I think it's very interesting. Urban Meyer has a lot to work with. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how much roster control he's going to have, especially over the draft. Because, again, as a guy who came out of college, he's he probably know the next two drafts worth of players and, you know, the diamonds in the rough in the fifth, sixth, and seventh round. So I think the fact that they have the draft capital they have and then Urban Meyer, who has scouted these players already, this, you know, to come to Ohio State, I think it's kind of like a cheat code in my opinion. You know, the same thing happens... Um, what's his name? The Panthers, Matt Rule. You know, they got undrafted and late round picks that turned out good because he himself had scouted those players already. So already knew what their strengths are, are the weaknesses. He knew the diamonds in the rough in the small schools. I think it'll be very interesting to see Urban Meyer because he's obviously going to assemble a lot of either veteran NFL coaches or a lot of veteran and new up and coming college coaches, which is going to be very exciting to see. But Urban Meyer, obviously, um, is going to get Trevor Lawrence. I'm very excited to see his development. I think with Trevor Lawrence and Urban Meyer, that connection can really work. I think Trevor Lawrence is probably one of the best quarterbacks, you know, coming out of college. Definitely since Andrew Luck. Honestly, every media member is saying that. But I'm saying as myself, Andrew Luck and Trevor Lawrence in the last 10 to 12 years are the two quarterbacks I think deserve the hype. Um, obviously, he didn't. We, he didn't make the national championship. He didn't win a Heisman. So there are people saying that he might go back to school, try and win either a national cha- championship or Heisman. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The media is so annoying when it comes to sports because they just try to make a hot take and be the first one on the hot take to get clicks. Stop it. He was going to declare. He was going to go to Jacksonville. And he's going to go and be a very good quarterback for them for the next 15 to 20 years. Another thing I'm going to be interested in seeing is Urban Meyer has never had a losing season in the entirety of his coaching career. And I'm not going to lie, in that AFC South, where the Texans might be a little bit better next year, probably won't be, but the Colts and the Titans, you're not going to have a winning season, especially your first year. Maybe the second, third, fourth year, maybe with Trevor Lawrence, you might have a winning season or two, but the first season's going to be a losing season. You might have a top three pick again. So I'm going to be interested to see how Urban Meyer handles that alongside the stress, just himself mentally, and physically, can he take it? Because that's why I'm worried about. I'm worried about his health. But outside of that, I'm very, I'm very excited for the future. You know, they got DJ Chark, Lavishka Chenault, a wide receiver for the future. James Robinson, running back for the future. Trevor Lawrence, he'll be quarterback. Um, I still like Andrew Norwell and Brandon Linder. I know some people don't. I think they should re-sign Cam Robinson. Have it, you know, have three very good. Juwan Taylor's been pretty, really good at right tackle. Josh Allen on defense. Miles Jack and Joe Schobert, obviously holding down the linebacker core. CJ Henderson at corner. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited to see how Urban Meyer wants to reshift and retool this roster if he does have roster control. And if he doesn't, I think they're going to get a GM that will listen to him. So no matter what, I think he's going to have a very big role on how this roster looks. And I'm excited, you know. Obviously, they have 11 picks this year, two in the first and second round. I believe it's four within the top 58 or 59, something like that. Something crazy. But they, they're going to get at minimum, two of the top 32 prospects. That's insane. And then next year, they did the exact same. I believe it's also double ones and double twos next year. And they'll probably get to trade even more players if they wanted to. 
And honestly, they have a crap ton of late-round picks. Urban Meyer should be all over that with his GM. Whoever they hire at GM. I don't know who it's going to be. No idea who it's going to be. They haven't announced it. They haven't even, I don't think they've interviewed anyone yet. I just know they've been, they, they held off interviewing head coaches for like three days because they said, we're going to wait till Urban Meyer gives us a word. If he says no, then we'll move on. But from what, I'm, what, what I heard, they only, they only interviewed Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, the, the Titans OC. I think he's the only one they, they interviewed in the last three days. And apparently they, they just were waiting for Urban Meyer, yes or no. If he said no, they would have hired someone else. But obviously they knew he was going to say yes because he came back today, signed a massive five-year deal, I believe it was. I'm, I'm excited to see what the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be in a couple years. You know, uh, DJ Chark and the Vichy Chenault should develop very nicely. Um, I, I was very I was, I was kind of hoping that if the Jets would have gotten a number one overall pick and, ch- and picked him, they could have also chosen Travis Etienne, the running back from Clemson. But there's no way he's going to get teamed up with Trevor Lawrence, which is kind of upsetting. Personally, I would have loved to see that, you know, running back and quarterback follow each other in the NFL. I would have loved to see that. But it's fine. I think they'll probably go quarterback and probably offensive line, maybe secondary. I, I would go – I would probably go – I'd probably go your safeties. You know, you got you got uh, Jerron Hammond, Jerron ha- Jamin Hammond, something like that. I can't remember his name. He's a 25-year-old safety, perfect for the rebuild age. Uh, maybe even towards the end of the rebuild, you can trade him for something. I would re-sign him this offseason. He's a safety. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. I should have researched this a little bit more. I forgot his name. But probably go safety later in the first round. Uh, Naz Dean, Paris Ford are my top two safeties. But probably it's going to be corner. They'll probably sneak in like an Asante Samuel Jr., someone along those lines. You know, a Sean Wade may even fall. So what pick was it? Is it pick 18, pick 19, something like that? It's late 19s, early 20s. I believe it's pick 18. So they have two and 18. You could easily get a Sean Wade type of corner right there. Or you can go offensive line. You know, Creed Humphrey, interior lineman. Or go uh, Blackmore, Brockmore, uh, the Ohio State's, D- no, the Alabama D-tackle that just, Barmore. Christian Barmore, I believe his name is. D-tackle from Alabama. You know, Taven Bryan has been a, has been a bust so far. Uh, his contract is up, there, up after the season. I would probably, I'd probably grab him. Uh, Doug Karst, Custon could be a pretty good backup alongside of him. But this could be a very appealing free agency spot for the next two or three years. You know, I probably wouldn't sign any big free agents this offseason. I probably wouldn't. I would wait till next offseason. Because this offseason, you know, you're going to have a Juju Smith-Schuster, a couple, a couple of defensive guys. If you're going to do anything, I would go the veteran offensive line route. Good to go, get a good O line for Trevor Lawrence. Protect him his first couple years, unlike Andrew Luck, because Andrew Luck was a generational talent. You know, again, he was the best prospect in the last 15 years until Trevor Lawrence. So what you gotta do is you gotta make him stand upright and be able to throw from a safe pocket. I would probably just spend money on the offensive line, maybe sign a safety or a corner, but I would probably save my money for the next year's free agency. You know, let let Trevor Lawrence let this offense and defense develop as the young core it is, then next year you you figure out what the Kings are, be like, okay, the linebackers didn't play as well as we expected. Let's sign a Sean Deion Hamilton type of linebacker. Let's sign a Mac Wilson. Let's sign a Dre Dre Greenwood Greenwood from the 49ers. Dre Green something. Let's sign a that type of linebacker that could be a solid but not an expensive uh piece. Let's sign a good safety now that we have a safety that's developing and the other safety's coming off a contract. Let's sign a good safety. Or, again, retool the offensive line. Or sign a good wide receiver. But I would stick with the young talent you have this year. I wouldn't really spend a whole lot of money. But Urban Meyer is a very smart person. He's going to get a very good coaching staff together. And I'm very excited to see what this team looks like in a couple years. But that's my analysis of the Urban Meyer hire. I give it an A. Easily an A. Um, I'm excited to see how Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence go together in the next couple years. You know, whenever Urban Meyer decides to move on. But I think they're going to be together for the entirety of the rest of Urban Meyer's coaching career. If you guys did enjoy this analysis, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below why you think Urban Meyer will be a good coach or not a good coach. You know, you might disagree with everything I said in this take. But thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace. Bye.